Hey, it's Vanessa the Crafty Gemini. It's kind of been a while since I posted a video here on YouTube, so I wanted to make this update video to let you know what's been keeping me so busy and what you can look forward to. All right, so first things first. My family is, of course, my number one priority, and we've had a lot of changes around here. For those that don't know, about a year and a half ago, my husband quit his nine to five regular job to join me in the family business. So now we both run Crafty Gemini. And as you can imagine, homeschooling two kids on top of that and having 40 plus animals on our homestead keeps us quite busy. I like the other goats up first. All right. Look at these guys. These Brownie. Are, hey. These are our goats. Don't, don't try to shut the uh, door. Make sure you keep these guys out. Keep yeah, this in. is Crunch, and that's Sweet Jones, and that's Mustang. Come on. Go ahead, Brownie. Sweet Jones looks good, huh? Yep. He's he getting is. bigger and chunkier, too. Yep. We almost lost that guy last year. Okay. These are our little newborn baby goats. The Let mama's me see name em. is... Um, Baby cutes. This is baby cutes. Look at that baby nursing. Oh, so this, cute. This is, this is Jr. and the and the one I was by over here is Bama. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Because they have different markings. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that's how you can tell which one is which. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing. The little baby drinking mama's milk. They're two boys, right? Yep. That's right. Right now they're. Their mom is eating some goat food. The, their babies are drinking nurse nursing mm -hmm. on her. When the babies are done drinking her, their mama's milk, my sister Allie will try to pick one up for you guys can see. Okay. And there's a boiler mm -hmm. looking at the fence. Like, what are you guys doing? Look at this one, Allie. <laughs> and mom Come here, Bama. Mama, Okay, in a minute. What are you looking at, big fat chicken? Mama, I told Mr. <laughs> Look Ned. at Bama! Oh, he's so cute. Wait. Yeah, the little one's Bama. I mean, the little one's Yeah, you can there. put him down. Yeah, that's Bama. The little one's there. The big one's there. These guys are how many days old now? Um, what? No, I think two, they're. I think three, they're. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I think they're two days old, right? Yep, they're two days old. Or three. Three days old. I mean, I just realized like goats. The same way picking up goats is not like a cat. <laughs> yeah. Because they have a belly cord. Mhm. Mm the okay. umbilical cord. You're right. It's still there. Don't mess with it. Does, does the umbilical cord ever come out? <laughs> yes. After it dries off, it'll fall off by itself. Just like in humans. Oh my gosh, Allie. This goat is literally like tucked in her arms like it's nap time. Is he for real, this goat? Look at this guy. Her what? She wants him back. <laughs> Look at him, straight to nurse and how cute. <laughs> Now to tell you the truth, I tend to have workaholic tendencies where my mind cannot shut off no matter what it is that I'm doing, even if I'm trying to relax at night. I don't shut my brain off. I'm constantly thinking up new tutorial ideas, new designs, new projects, and new uh, venues that I can jump into with my business, okay? Now, thankfully, I have my husband who is totally not like that, and he made sure that I found some things uh, that I enjoy to do that would help me kind of refill my cup instead of getting me to a point where I was feeling like I was almost getting burnt out. Now, I've gotten back into the gym, which I absolutely love, and have realized that carrying heavy stuff is one of my most favorite things to do. So I've been hitting the gym, checking out uh, some different types of workouts, doing strongman activities and things like that. And it turns out that flipping 450 pound tires is now one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> Quick pop, easy.
So I'm really enjoying going to the gym several days a week and carrying heavy stuff, working out, lifting weights and things like that. So that really has kind of opened up my life a little bit more, allowed me to relax a little bit more and realize that I don't always have to be thinking about my business. Now, aside from that, business-wise, I definitely have been kept busy with my online quilt club, which uh, if you all recall, I launched about a year and a half ago. We're still having tons of fun. I've also uh, recently launched a online bag of the month club where we're making five different handbags, one every single month. We have hundreds and hundreds of people that have signed up and everybody's making some gorgeous handbags. So of course, any of the things that I'm talking about in this video, if you wanna find out more information or you wanna sign up for one of these activities, make sure you click the description box below this video. I'll have links there to everything I'm mentioning in the video. Aside from some of these online clubs that I host, I have also been hosting my own live and in-person weekend long quilt retreats. So they're four days long. I just had two this past August and I have another one coming up next weekend. I'm also uh, teaching on a quilting cruise that's coming up at the end of October. So these kind of live and in-person events, you probably can imagine, they take a lot of planning and prep work and things like that to you know solidify the projects, the things, the goodie bags and all different types of things that I do for them. So uh, these these events keep me busy, but they are so much fun. Now, if you want to find out about how you can uh, participate in one of my in-person quilt retreats, make sure that you sign up for my online newsletter. That is where I send out uh, the initial information, letting people know of dates and registrations and things like that. So I'll include a link for that as well. Or you can just go to my website at craftygemini.com and sign up uh, with your email to join my email newsletter. That's basically where you're going to get first dibs at any new information that's going on uh, regarding Crafty Gemini and any events that I teach at. Now in November of this year, I will be teaching at a quilt shop in Rome, Georgia. It's called The Stitchery, and this is gonna be a fabulous event. It's three days long. I'm teaching one of the days. You're gonna be doing sewing projects, embroidery projects, and then all-purpose craft type projects. It's basically a weekend for you to crank out some holiday gift giving ideas. There are gonna be a ton of different projects because it's three days worth of classes, okay? Everybody's gonna have a machine to use, and guess what? They cut up all the materials that you need. Everything you need to complete all the projects that will be taught that weekend will be provided for you in the way of kits. So for my project that I'll be teaching, you'll have a kit with everything cut out, all the notions you need ready to go. There's also going to be some fun goodie bags. And I thought I would let you all know so that if you are near the Rome, Georgia area and you want to sign up for something like this, you definitely go ahead and sign up within the next two days because the price is going up as of Saturday, September 17th. If you're interested in signing up for that three-day weekend workshop of making a ton of different uh, holiday gift-giving ideas, then you definitely want to use the link I've included for you in the description below this video. So that will take you over to the Stitchery's website, and then you can just give them a call to sign up and reserve your spot before they're all sold out. Again, the dates for that are November 5th, 6th, and 7th. And also, it doesn't matter your skill level. So you can be from a beginner to an expert, and you are still going to have a ton of fun, and I bet you learn some new techniques while you're making those projects. One of the things that I'm definitely trying to carve more time out for is for garment sewing. I want to start making more of my clothes and lately I have done just that. This little tunic top made out of this cute little chambray uh, I made myself. I also recently tried out this different type of a pattern. It's Butterick B6217 and it's by Gertie. If you're not familiar with her pattern, she runs a blog called Blog for Better Sewing and I'll include a link for it below. And she started designing patterns for Butterick, okay? Now this little top, it says it's loose fitting but it really has more of a fitted silhouette so I gave it a try in some really what I thought was initially ugly fabric you can see it here it's kind of like a rayon chalet fabric and I was not too thrilled with it but as you can see I had a bunch of it so I thought well let me make the shirt out of this as a muslin just to try it out and to check the fit in the pattern but once I started doing it and checked the fit I adjusted a few minor things here and there and I actually started to like it. So you can see here what the finished shirt turned out like. And I really love this silhouette on me. If you're curvy and you tend to have a more slimline waist and wider at the hips like I am, then I think this is definitely a fabulous silhouette for you to try. Especially if you're a larger busted, it worked out fine for me as well. And so again, that's Butterick B6217. So I'm playing around and trying out a few different patterns that I think may work for me to do as video sew-alongs. So if you have a pattern that you think is easy enough that a beginner can tackle, um, and that may be a good uh, project for me to teach as a video sew-along for a lot of people, especially beginners who want to get into garment sewing, go ahead and leave me a comment below and let me know what pattern it is so that I can check it out and look into it. 
Now I've also signed up for some uh, online craftsy classes that have to do with garment sewing so I'm going to try out a few of those and see and then I thought about maybe doing kind of like a video review to let you all know how I thought the course was, how the garment turned out to see if it was worth it. Now if you're interested in having me do some video reviews of online uh, garment sewing classes off of Craftsy, leave me a comment below and let me know which class you'd like me to do a review on. And a few other things just to finish this off, for those of you that didn't catch the spring 2016 issue of Modern Patchwork, my name is actually on the cover. It says Meet the Crafty Gemini. On page 8, there is a full profile story that my friend Abby from While She Naps, she runs a blog and a podcast, uh, she made, she did the story on me and it actually is a four page spread in here. So I will include a link in the description box below on where you all can find this magazine because you can still purchase it online. I'm pretty sure it's all off of the newsstand by now. But again, it's the spring 2016 issue of Modern Patchwork. So there's something else for you to grab if you'd like to take a look at that article. And of course, the fabulous modern quilts that are in the magazine as well. Now in the garment sewing world, I have been up to a few different things aside from sewing my own things. I'm trying a few different independent pattern brands out. Colette Patterns is a very popular brand out there and I purchased these two patterns. This one is for the Hawthorne which says it's intermediate and it's a, a long sleeve kind of button down shirt dress almost but it has three different versions. You can make uh, a peplum kind of top. It's like vintage inspired with the little uh, with the neck line then a dress that has the three quarter sleeves and then you can do the dress uh, with the sleeveless option. And then I bought another one. This is actually a brand new pattern that just came out. This is their Rue pattern. And it's this really cute dress. One thing about them is that their patterns go from sizes 0. This one goes to 18 because it's several years old. But this brand new one now goes from size 0 to 26. So you can see it's like really fancy package and it's quite thick. The patterns themselves are actually booklets. So I have not made one of these yet, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. If any of you are familiar with the Colette patterns or you have any feedback for me, feel free to leave me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. Or maybe if there's a must-have Colette pattern that I have to absolutely try. For curvy girls, please go ahead and tell me that in the description box below as well. So I'm trying out some different indie designer uh, patterns. Now in the sewing machine department, I recently got a brand new embroidery machine. So for those of you that have been emailing me for years on years asking me to do embroidery tutorials, I think you'll be happy to know that I am working on a machine embroidery video series. So I am going to start posting tutorials on uh, what machine embroidery is and I'll start with the basics covering stabilizers, different projects and different things that you can do including of course tutorials and projects on some designs that you can use for things you can make at home with your embroidery machine. Now the machine that I have is a baby lock spirit. Now that is a standalone embroidery machine. What that means is that there are several models out there that are that do sewing like you can use it for regular sewing projects and then they also have the embroidery function. The one that I have only does embroidery which I absolutely love because I have plenty of other sewing machines that I can do my sewing or quilting with but I wanted this machine to just be for machine embroidery. So I think you all are going to have a blast seeing what all an embroidery machine can do and to also give it a try. I know a lot of you out there probably have embroidery machines in a closet somewhere uh, because you're intimidated to take it out or you're not really sure how it works and things like that. So I'm excited to kind of hold your hand and guide you through the process and talk to you all about the different notions, threads, um, and different ways that you can use your embroidery machine. And now for my most exciting news I think, I have been working on my first ever fabric collection. Can you believe it? Crafty Gemini fabric. So here it is. Uh, this is just some of them. There's a few more um, prints or solids and blenders and stuff in the collection. But I just wanted to show you how cool it is. It's not available yet. It starts shipping to independent quilt shops in November 2016. Uh, you can basically contact your local shop and let them know that you would like for them to carry. Uh, Dominicana is the name of the collection uh, by Vanessa Vargas. Wilson for Timeless Treasures Fabrics and if you know me you know I love bright colors so of course if I'm designing fabric the color palette has to be super loud bright and fresh I think there's several prints in here that I absolutely love I love all of them it's so hard but I have tons of projects planned we are going to be working on some video quilt alongs in the new year featuring this fabric I think there's so much that you can do with it because since I don't only make quilts, I make handbags and things for my house, for the kids, for the kitchen, clothes. 
um, I wanted to design a collection that could be used in a variety of projects, not just for quilts. So definitely be on the lookout. Once the collection hits the stores and people start getting it in their hands, you'll start to see me doing video tutorials and sew alongs and quilt alongs and things featuring my fabric collection. Now, the best way for you to get your hands on the fabric is to contact your local quilt shop and let them know uh, that you'd like for them to carry the collection called Dominicana by Vanessa Vargas Wilson for Timeless Treasures Fabrics. Now, if you don't have a local quilt shop or you don't know where to get it, no worries because I will be selling the collection in my online shop come November of this year. So if you want to find out about that, make sure that you follow me on social media and that you also uh, sign up to receive my email newsletters. And you can do that right on my website at craftygemini.com. Now let me show you a couple of the prints. This is definitely a sneak peek. Not many people have seen this yet. Here's a little print that kind of looks like palm fronds and it comes in three different colorways. There's this kind of light pink with coral. There's a gray on gray version. And then aqua on aqua, like a light turquoise with a darker turquoise on it. Then we have a couple of florals that come in two different colorways. One with a white background. And let me open it up so you can see it on a larger scale. I think this is really pretty and could work for a ton of different projects, okay? So here it is. This is with a white background. And then we also have it with that pale, pale aqua background. Okay? I have one of my favorite prints here. This is little guayabas, like we call them in Spanish, or guavas. I used to always pick guavas from my grandparents' tree, and that tree is actually still there. Um, and I love it in this color. This background color here is a really, really pale yellow, uh, but it has the corals and the aquas and things like that. I think it's a super cute little print. This is probably most people's favorites who have seen it. This is a little house print that features bright colorful houses like you often see in the Caribbean, like Dominican Republic, uh, with tin roofs. There are clotheslines and little trees. It's a really, really cute print. Then we have these two kind of geometric prints that come in two different colorways. This one has a white background and then several different colors from the collection. They're just plus and minuses that kind of move in this water flowy type of pattern. And this was inspired by the rivers that I grew up swimming in that kind of weave around all these massive rocks. Um, and, and it reminds me of that, okay? So that one comes with a white background and then the plus and minus signs. It's kind of like a really fresh modern print, I think, in the different colors. Then we also have it in a gray background. And it's like several different shades of, oops, of gray with the different shades of the aquas on it as well, okay? A couple of small tiny prints I think look so cute because they work for anything. And then these wispy little flowers that in, we have them also in three different colorways. Red on red, which I love, love, love. I feel like I need a dress made up in this. Gray on gray with the same little wispy flowers. And then the aqua on aqua, okay? Really, really pretty. Another little cute novelty one Platanos. If you know anything about the Caribbean, you know we love our platanos. These are green plantains on fabric with a white background. Super cute. And then these are like my little confetti ones. It's kind of a fresh modern print. I really envision these being used for like purse linings and things like that. So this one comes in the white background with kind of little chiclet sized confetti pieces in a variety of colors from the collection. And then I also have it in that butter color. Really cute with that pale yellow background and the same colors of the little confetti pieces. So these are just some of the prints in the collection, but if you like what you see, remember to sign up for my email newsletter because I will be selling the collection as soon as I get it in stock. Uh, it starts shipping to quilt shops in November of 2016, so contact your local shop and let them know, hey, the Crafty Gemini has this new collection out. Are you going to carry it? I want you to carry it and let them know that it's by Timeless Treasures, okay? And that's it for this update video. I hope you enjoyed learning more about what's been keeping me busy and what you can expect from me in future videos. Thanks again for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, hit it with the thumbs up below. Share it across some different social media sites. And as always, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.